world of content creation is evolving at an incredible pace, and AI animation is revolutionizing the way we produce and consume video content. As a faceless YouTuber, you're probably no stranger to the challenges of creating engaging visuals that capture your audience's attention. But what if I told you there's a way to take your content to the next level without breaking the bank or spending hours in front of a camera? In this video, I will be showing you how to create exceptional AI-generated animation for free. To start, I headed over to ChatGPT and gave it a command. I said, Hello, I want to write a short story about a little baby called The Boss Baby, but this time his name should be The Baby Boss. Are you ready to see what I have so we can discuss it? ChatGPT responded, Absolutely. Then I said, Can you generate the image of the baby boss in Pixar 3D Disney style with rich texture? It generated the image and it looked pretty good. I responded, This is great. Thank you. I like it. Next, I requested a 150 word story on the baby boss and its dog friend Myla about how they were able to catch the chief of thieves, a robber with a big belly and one eye covered by a black patch. I specified that the baby boss and Myla should be a police officer and police dog, respectively, while the chief of thieves should be a character with a distinct look. ChatGPT generated the story for me and then I said, Thank you. Can you separate the 150-word story into chapters? It replied, Certainly. And broke the story into chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. After that, I requested it to generate several scene prompts for chapter 1. It generated scene 1, scene 2, scene 3, and scene 4. I then asked ChatGPT to generate the prompts for each scene individually, which it did beautifully. Next, I said, Great, can you generate a Pixar 3D Disney animation style of scene 1 with a 16-9 aspect ratio? It generated a stunning image. However, I wanted it to be a close-up, so I asked for a close-up image, and it generated a better version. Although I wasn't happy with some parts of the design, I liked the second version more, so I chose it for my video. I continued with scene 2 and made sure all the characters were consistent across images. ChatGPT generated close-up versions of scene 2, scene 3, and scene 4, each based on the corresponding prompts it had generated earlier. I then asked it to generate the image of the Chief of Thieves, shocked to see that he was busted, holding bags of money near the vault. It created a beautiful image, which I loved. I also requested different poses for the Chief of Thieves, including one where he was running with a bag of money. Some images didn't meet my expectations, as they showed characters in opposite directions or lacked consistency, so I skipped those. For a specific request, I asked it to generate a close-up image of the baby boss holding a police torch near the vault, ensuring character consistency. The result was amazing. The process I followed was straightforward. First, I asked ChatGPT to generate a story. Then, I requested it to generate script scenes for the story. Afterward, I asked for prompts based on each script scene. Finally, I used the prompts to generate images for each scene. This is how I was able to create an entire collection of images from a simple story. After generating all the images, the next step was to animate them, turning them from static to dynamic visuals. To do this, I used Minimax AI, an excellent tool for converting images to video. And in case you don't know how to get to it, you can find the link in the description below. When you get to the Minimax AI webpage, click on Image to Video. Of course, you're going to register first. After registration, you'll be brought to this home page here, and then you would have to choose Image to Video if you want to convert your images to videos. You could also use the Text to Video option if you prefer to create videos from text. So I uploaded the image and clicked the Generate button over here. As you can see, it has 30 credits here, so anytime you generate a video, it will take away 30 credits from your 100 credits immediately. This means you can only generate three videos per day using the Minimax AI free plan. However, if you wish to generate more videos, you can upgrade to the Pro plan. Keep in mind that you will have a watermark on your video because I am currently using the free plan. So let's check this video out. This video depicts a close-up of the baby boss, dressed in a sleek black suit and tie, intently analyzing security footage in a high-tech police command center. His serious expression reflects focus and determination. Beside him is Myla, a playful and energetic police dog wearing stylish glasses, looking alert and ready for action. The movement of the characters is really cool, it's just like Minimax knew exactly what I wanted. The background showcases multiple screens displaying live surveillance footage, with colourful control panels adding a vibrant, tech-savvy atmosphere to the scene. To download this video, you simply have to click on the download button. OK, so we are going to check out the other videos I also generated. Let's take a look at this. This is another image that I converted into a video. In this scene, the baby boss, dressed sharply in a police uniform with a serious and focused expression, 
is making an important phone call inside a bustling police station, while Myla, his loyal and alert police dog, stands confidently by his side, ready for action. The call came from the inspector, informing them of a robbery in progress, and he happened to be the smartest guy to handle it. As you can see, this happens to include the dog as well. So I'm going to click here and click the download button to download the video. So I'm going to do that for the other images. Come here, and this is the police inspector, so I'm just going to download it. Click download so you can just watch as I download the other videos. Right, so let's come here, so I'm going to download this. This was where he happened to be driving to the bank, him and his police dog called Myla. Click here, and then it's downloaded. Come here as well, I'm going to click here and click on download. Okay, then I'm going to come here as well. Let's see, this is amazing. This is where they happen to be searching for the thief. All right, just one thief came to this bank to rob. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to be doing the same thing for this as well. So I'm going to click this. Next, I'll proceed to the following step. I'm going to click on the image icon here, select upload image, and then choose the next image. This happens to be the next one, so I'll click it and wait for it to load completely before proceeding. After it has loaded, I'll click the button to start the process. Moving on to the next one, I'll repeat the same steps. Click on the image icon, select upload image, and choose the next image. Once it's uploaded, I'll wait for it to load, and then click the button to generate the video. I'll repeat this process for all the images. I'll click upload, wait for them to load, and then click the button to generate. For example, I'll delete the current one, upload the next image, and then click the button to proceed. For the final image, I'll follow the same steps. Upload the image, wait for it to load, and then click the button to generate. In order to make things faster, I will just go through the process while you just watch, but it is very important you try it out yourself, so let's go. Now, the reason I'm using multiple Minimax AI tabs is to speed up the process. If you have a lot of images to convert into videos, using multiple tabs can save a lot of time. However, to use multiple tabs, you'll need to create additional accounts with different email addresses, as each account comes with its own credit limit. That's exactly what I did to make the process faster and more efficient. So now that we've been able to generate these images and then convert them to video, the next thing to do would be to upscale the videos right away. To upscale our video, we're going to be using an AI tool called TensorPix. First, type TensorPix into your browser, then click on the first link that appears. The good thing about TensorPix is that you can create multiple accounts using different email addresses, which allows you to access more features and credits. Once registered, you'll see the option to upload and enhance. Click on it, and you'll be prompted to choose the location of your video. It could be on your device, Dropbox, OneDrive, or even accessible via a link. If your video is available as a link, great. But in my case, my videos are on my device, so I'll click on device and start uploading the first video I want to upscale. After uploading, you'll be presented with several enhancement options. Since this is the free version, you'll receive 150 credits upon logging in. For this process, I'm going to select noise reduction as the first option. Then, I'll choose another available enhancement. You're only allowed to pick two enhancements in the free version as the others are restricted. Once the selections are made, Click on Enhance. As you can see, it takes 0.15 credits to process one video. This is really amazing. To speed up the process, I'll open another browser tab and repeat the same steps. I'll type TensorPix in the search bar, click Start for free, and log in using a different email address via Google. Once logged in, I'll upload and enhance another video using the same steps. For example, I'll select the video from my device, upload it and choose enhancement options like 100% upscale and film clean v2. These options yield outstanding results and by using two browsers and two accounts I can process multiple videos simultaneously. However, keep in mind that if you're using the free plan a watermark will appear on your videos. This process ensures that every video looks its best. So watch as I continue to upscale the entire batch of videos. I
The results are really cool and the tool is easy to use, even on the free plan. To continue, I imported all the videos into CapCut, as you can see, and placed them accordingly. You can decide to arrange them based on your own creativity. For my project, I placed the videos and then began writing the script for the voiceovers. The script includes dialogue for the police chief, the baby boss, the narrator and the thief, along with other characters such as the police. Next, I used Eleven Labs to convert the written text into voiceovers using their text-to-speech tool. This method is very effective because it simplifies the process and ensures professional quality audio. Although I already have a narrated story written in ChatGPT, I decided to write my own script for this project. Now, let's go to Eleven Labs to generate the voiceovers. First, I copied the police chief's text and pasted it into the tool. Then, I searched for a suitable voice. After selecting a professional and authoritative voice, I clicked Generate to create the audio. Next, I worked on the baby boss's voice. I copied the baby boss's text, went to the voice library, and filtered the options to match the character's traits. I selected a young male voice in English, with an energetic and confident tone. After testing a few options, I found one that fit perfectly and generated the audio. After downloading the baby boss's voiceover, I moved on to the narrator. I copied the narrator's text and selected a voice with a clear, neutral and professional tone. Once I found the right one, I generated the audio and downloaded it. Finally, I worked on the thief's voice. I copied the text for the thief, pasted it into the tool, and searched for a voice with a mischievous and slightly comical tone to fit the character. Once the voice was selected, I generated the audio and downloaded it as well. The next step was to add background music and sound effects to make the video more engaging. For this, I used Pixabay, which provides royalty-free images, stock videos, music and sound effects. I searched specifically for sound effects and downloaded a few options that match the scenes in the video. For example, since there is a dog in the video, I searched for dog barking sound effects and downloaded three variations. For music, I searched for dramatic and instrumental tracks to use as background audio. Instrumental music works best for videos like this because it complements the narration without being distracting. If you want even more customization, you can use Suno AI, which I highly recommend. Although the free version is available, the paid version offers more features and better quality. To create music with Suno AI, log in after registering and navigate to the Create section. Here, you can either upload a description of the type of music you want, or select an instrumental template. I personally prefer instrumentals for background soundtracks. So let's listen to what we have here. You can generate some more until you find the best background music for your video. A quick reminder, do not use the free generated music for your videos. I would advise you use the pro version. I hope this helps. You can also ask ChatGPT to generate a detailed description of the type of music you need based on your storyline, which you can then input into Suno AI for even better results. After generating my background sound, I downloaded it and imported it into CapCut. I chose a couple of tracks and tested them to find the perfect match. Once selected, I placed them at appropriate points in the timeline to enhance the video's overall feel. This process made my project both simple and professional. The background music, sound effects and voiceovers all came together seamlessly, resulting in an engaging and well-structured video. Now that we've gone through the process I used to create this video, I'd love for you to take a look at what I was able to produce using this method. Hello, baby boss. We have a situation at the bank and we think you are the only one to help us out. Hello, Chief. Um, uh, what is really going on at the bank? The bank is being robbed, baby boss. All right. Myla and I are on our way. The baby boss and Myla the dog drove to the bank. As they got there, they entered the bank and searched the vault. But they couldn't find the thief. Come on, Myla. Let's search everywhere. He must be hiding somewhere. He cannot escape. Let's keep searching. This place is littered with money. 
He must be here somewhere. Ah, what? What? The baby boss is here. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. I cannot leave this money. This would buy me a house and a car, and also, and some women too. Ha ha, I gotta run, run, run. And then the thief decided to run with the bag of money. M, M, but to cut the to long story down. shirt, he was but caught the by the baby jail. boss and handed to the police. And the chief of police congratulated the heroes. The entire bank applauded the boldness of the baby boss. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and feel free to leave a comment below. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section and I'll do my best to respond when I have some free time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.